everything. Stop! This isn't the devil and Daniel Mouse. This is a film about how we made the devil and Daniel Mouse. Actually, it was easy. Well, maybe not so easy. In fact, making a half-hour animated cartoon is pretty complicated. Especially when it's an adventure, musical, comedy, horror, Halloween story, like The Devil and Daniel Mouse. It starts right here with Ken Sobel. Now, he's a writer, and he's explaining his script ideas to the producers and directors at Novena Productions. Uh, earlier, either the one where she meets him back there or back in the first act, you know, a sort of reprise of her, uh, one of her numbers in the med. Okay, look, the point is that it's got to work in terms of the music at the end. The song has to be the thing that convinces everybody that, that the thing works. So, you've got this the devil, the henchmen, all the people that the devil has brought up, you know, to, to try the case. Now, they have to be convinced by the song, by the music, that the music is so strong and that they feel it so much that this becomes the, the thing that causes them to change. Ken, you know what um, song it should be that we reprieve? It's the very first one, the one in, that, in the first uh, club, the folk song, where they get thrown out of the club. You get fired they get fired, right, because it's like one of their own songs. And so it should, um, you know, it would, it would give strength to their situation. While Ken goes off to write the script, Clive Smith and Frank Nesson worry about what the character should look like. Maybe coming into something, you know, something like this, I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe we, I mean, I think he's too horrific for most of the thing. I think he's yeah. got to be... Uh, smoother and suaver, uh, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know. He's, re yeah. he's really got to be the, uh, the cool producer. That, in case you can't guess, is the devil and the devil and Daniel Mouse. Clive and Frank are drawing a model sheet to show the animators how to draw the devil. Now, when the script's finished, Clive and Frank start the next step, storyboarding which means turning the words in the script I into pencil sketches for the animators. The comes up from, from the background and well, passes right you, past her. How about if she crawls out of this frame and we right. cut and she crawls over the log and, mm -hmm. and we look out through the thicket. With her so, in the foreground. Yeah, okay. and we see the rhino run past. past. Meanwhile, John Sebastian's writing and recording the music. After all, this is a musical, too. Very vulnerable at the beginning and builds in strength. Okay. Let's do a take. Looking for something that there's no set way to find. Got to listen to your own second mind. You were afraid you wouldn't be strong enough alone. Now look where the music can take you if you're getting love. And the actors are recording their parts. This is the biggest thing ever to hit rock!
I hope practice makes perfect. I declare you free. 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 After the recording session, Roger Matusi breaks each part of the sound down into syllables because the cartoon characters have to move their mouths to fit the words. Roger writes down how many frames it takes each character to say each syllable on a sheet which the animators work with. Meanwhile, Frank explains the storyboard to a layout person. We open on the, on the bare ground, as it were, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do that layout, she's got to be just totally just flung to the ground, right? She's mm -hmm. just wiped out. Who works at a bottom-lighted animation desk and, and sketches what the scene will eventually look like and how and where the characters will move. This is called a layout, but as you can see, there's still a long way to go before it's ready for you to see. Clive's going over a scene with an animator, John Celestri, who's going to draw the action. Now, as the director, one of Clive's jobs is, is to help the animator interpret the action and act out the script. Down by the tree, and he's, he's just going, very relaxed, and he should maybe bang his knee or something. Right. Like, no, he's not going to take okay, it. Okay, what about this? Now, since the no is the big point of the scene, right. what he should be doing is he's down on his, he's sitting down, right. and he's okay. trying to comfort Jan. Right. Meanwhile, Jan's on the other side, and she's right. kind of she's like she's, 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 she's looking like, around, and she's mess. she's just covering up. He puts his hand to to kind of just uh, comfort her, and then all of a sudden he realizes he has to take charge. So he says, "No, he can't have you. I won't let him." Now John's drawing what they just talked about. He's looking at his own face in the mirror to see how Dan Mouse would make different expressions. looking at the animation in a rough form to see what else needs doing. This looks good. This looks essentially good. I think what we want to do is retime his jump a little yeah. bit. Uh -huh. um, get more out of the drag. He, okay, he takes a leap. Like keep that drawing there. And as he leaps, get him to stretch his legs out yeah, a little keep bit his more legs straight right. longer right and then like there'll be more of a snap right. he goes up as a pop keep him up songs Clive and the other animators talk over what their characters will do in each scene in the background we're not you know we're not concentrating on that anymore and i think the caterpillar should do something okay you know he's the waiter mm -hmm. so why don't we have him uh, holding the tray up and with his other set of arms you grab a mug of beer and then pass it down from oh, hand to hand and put it on the table. Great idea. And he'll great. Just keep doing that. Until right. That. Like a conveyor belt of beer. Great. That's great. And he'll just keep going. Great. Good. Great. And then they sit down and draw. Other artists assist the animator to complete the drawing of the scene, and it takes up to 60 separate drawings to make up just one second of film.
the weeds is announcing himself as being the judge, very proud. Right. So, so it goes something like uh, Judge Weasel presiding. That's great. That's good.